This is a copy of the federal. It's almost that time of year again when Americans file their taxes and Uncle Sam decides if you owe money or get some back. But this tax season, parents could catch a break. What we're trying to do is create some breathing room for parents. Lawmakers from both parties hope to do that by increasing and expanding the child tax credit to include more low-income families. It's part of Congress's latest tax plan, an $80 billion bipartisan deal. It's going to help them deal with the inflation and put food on the table, put shelter over their heads, um, be able to deal with child care costs. Under the new plan, the max refundable amount for parents would increase from the current level of $1,600 per child to $1,800 for 2023, $1,900 in 2024, and 2000 in 2025. Republicans and Democrats see it as a win-win. Low-income families are receiving more assistance, and Republicans negotiated more tax breaks for U.S. companies. It represents a great opportunity to help working families. The last time the child tax credit increased was in 2021, and data from the U.S. Census Bureau indicates it helped lift 3 million children out of poverty. But critics argue the new qualifications to receive the credit walk a fine line and could discourage people from working. Parents can now rely on last year's income and still claim the credit. When you de-link work, you actually make people's lives worse. Still, lawmakers hope to pass the bill before tax filing season begins on January 29th. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox 32 Chicago.